No, I walk with the racks on me. Bad bitch, want back, back, and you know she stole that ass on me. I don't want that girl, cause she want me, cause the cash on me. Yeah, you know she capping, homie. Dread like that cap on me. Back then, ain't that. Okay, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jamal, and I'm back with a super cute, trendy hairstyle. I'm going to be jumping straight into it because I didn't do an intro. So, basically what I'm starting off with is my 24-hour Ebon Edge Ebon Control Rubber Bands and this Cube of Nature Twisting Cream, which I actually love because it leaves my hair so soft and bouncy when it comes to the Bantu Knots part. But right here, you see me parting this section off my hair. Right now, my hair is flat iron because I like to look better than what it is when it's blow dry. So yes, I'm going to let you guys watch this and then I'm going to come back when I go to the next part. Okay, so this part is pretty self-explanatory, but right now you see me section it off this into three. I'm also going to do that to the next section too, but in total you should have six sections. But when it comes to the sections, you want to make it make sure that you make the sections big enough so you can part it into two when it comes to the crisscross. Okay, so now that I got the sectioning out the way, right now you're going to see me applying my 24-hour ebb and edge control onto the hair. And then I'm going to be combing it through and making sure it's nice and sleek and detangled for when it comes to me actually putting on the rubber bands and doing the crisscross. Okay, so for this part, I'm not going to be on that much talking because it really is self-explanatory. And I tell y'all, it's like really, really easy and it's kind of actually hard to explain. But right now you see that I take my comb and I actually part it into two little sections. In each section that I parted, you're going to have three rows. So in total, you should have six parts with rubber bands. Also, you're going to do this one for this row and then the next one. The two rows towards the middle, that's when you're going to see me part it four rows deep so in total you should have eight rubber bands but you're going to see that later on in the video
Okay, so this is the part that I was explaining to you guys earlier that was going to be four rows deep. So in total, you should have eight rubber bands. So I did it for this one and the next one. Till the morning I'm just taking this moment oh, oh, oh. We can take it slow Stay up till the morning I'm just taking this moment Okay, now that we got the whole crisscross part out the way, this is the part where we actually begin the bantu knot. So right now you're gonna see me sectioning my hair off again in the back. It don't matter how clean the parts is, nothing, because really nobody's gonna see that, because your hair's gonna be all fluffy and everything. But I'm putting this into a ponytail, da 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 da, da and then you're gonna see me section this off into two. And then I'm going to be using bobby pins and then my cream of nature. Okay, so what you see me doing here is grabbing a small amount of pudding and applying it to the hair to where it's damp enough and that it dries quickly and it'll be dry by the morning. But you're going to see me turn it, well, twist it counterclockwise and also wrap it counterclockwise. So when you do this, you want to make sure you do the rest of the hair like that too. Make sure you twist counterclockwise and wrap it counterclockwise. And to secure it, I just use a bobby pin.
Okay, so it is now the next day. Well, actually, like, two days later, but y'all get the point. So right now, I'm just taking everything off, and you want to make sure that you apply an oil on your hands before you actually take down the bantu knot so it doesn't be frizzy, sort of, kind of. But all you see me doing here is pulling my finger through the knot, and you want to make sure you pull it through each section that you actually pull, just so it's actually full, and it looks nice and full. I sound dumb, I know, but I'm really tired. But... Just make sure it's, you want to pull it through just so it's nice and full. But right here you see me unraveling again. You want to twist the opposite way that you actually twisted when it came to Benson on I me mean, at first. And then you just want to see me proceed and do the same thing. You pull my finger through it until it's nice and full.
and that is how i got this super cute hairstyle that is really trendy right now with the crisscross part i just added a twist to it really with the band too because i haven't seen it before and i thought it was really cute but i got so many compliments on this this is for all ages maybe your daughter wants it maybe your little sister somebody it's really for all ages but right now you just see me putting in the ponytail i ended up taking it out afterwards because i didn't like this but I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this cute little hairstyle. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. Follow my social media days in the top left corner where it's always there as you see. And yeah, make sure you stay tuned and watch my recent videos.